Living on the streets is easy. They don't want to work. They're a bunch of scammers. You know, they get a job like everybody else and work the nine to five. They don't want to do that. You got no idea, ma'am. I say, what you want to do? Go down there for 30 days. You know, all my friends say, I want to go on some crazy vacation. I say, you know what? By the go time the beer hit my lips, we'll it was decided. For 31 days in December, I will conduct a social experiment on myself. I will totally abandon my predictable life and attempt to survive the streets of Vancouver. Instead of crossing a bridge downtown, I'm swimming. So I start my journey freezing, wet, and naked. I arrive downtown with nothing but a backpack with a hidden video camera inside. My first challenge was to find city services offering food, shelter, and clothing. You know where I can get some free food and shelter? <laughs> no idea. No idea? Hey man, do you know where there's uh, any place where I can get food and shelter around here? Well, there's a gun under there, it's just two blocks. Two blocks down? Thanks a lot, man. Enter the gathering place, a resource center for the homeless. When I walked through the door, they told me I was hypothermic and threw me into a hot shower. They gave me some clothes and told me to go talk to the guy at the front counter when I was done. This place had live music, snooker, martial arts, and let's not forget the therapeutic hot tub. Next, I had to find somewhere to sleep. I asked around and Matt, a homeless guy, helped me out. He told me he was staying at a really nice place, the Yukon Homeless Shelter. So I tagged along and got a bed. I've been living on the street for 10 days now and I still don't fit in. It's because my life here is really easy. Whenever I want free clothes, I go get them. Whenever I want free food, I go to the charities. Nothing I don't get. That's why a lot of the homeless don't use these free services on the regular. Why make life so hard on yourself? I don't know. But maybe if I make life a bit harder on myself, I'll find the answer. So no more bubble baths. It's time to make money the hard way, by working for it. And the boys say the big money's in squeegeeing. So I stole one and got to work. Although profitable, squeegeeing was abusive, dangerous, and demeaning. So I thought I'd try panhandling. Panhandling wasn't my gig. I didn't make that much money, plus it was boring and cold. When I returned to the Yukon shelter, they told me my time was up. They sent me away with a list of other emergency shelters. I had no idea what I was in for. Thank you. From down the hallway, I hear a symphony of horking phlegm and blaring rock and roll. The smell of fermenting feet and bed bug pesticide made me gag. Guys were vomiting in the bathroom sinks. The lineup was 30 minutes long to use the washroom. How on earth could anyone sleep in here? A couple nights later, I began puking and had explosive diarrhea. The lady at the desk nodded like she'd seen this before and checked me into emergency right away. It really brings things into perspective. The doctor took forever. When he did arrive, he had bad news. I had a severe case of gastroenteritis. He gave me some codeine, a whack load of T3s, and sent me on my way. I need to find shit to make my bed because I'm not going back to the emergency shelter. The doctor told me I can uh, get even more sick, and I'm not getting more sick. So I'm sleeping on the street from here on in. Holy fuck. Holy shit, there's a fucking rat in there. That's disgusting. Well, this will be great for uh, sleeping on. Some cardboard. Room. This is just gross. There's piss all around me. And there's junkies everywhere. I want to get out of here. Let's go. I'm gonna go find uh, a 
a nice place where I can actually get some sleep. This is, this is too gross. I can't sleep here. Dizzy. Like I need to puke or something. Nish, come on, let's go for a walk. Honestly, you can do whatever the f you want, but I'm going home because I'm done with this. Shit. Keep playing or whatever. You can follow me home, but I'm going home. I'm not living out on the street for any longer. Yeah, me, me, me. What? Seriously. Let's do this. Five more days. You can do it. Go back to this side. First of all, you can't tell me I have to do it. You can't fucking tell me that because you're not the one doing this. I'm the one who's doing this, right? I'm the one that has to do all this fucking bullshit and it's actually annoying. You keep on saying, you know, all this crap to me. I'm fucked in the head right now. I can't even talk straight, but I'm going home. You still want to do this? Yeah. Mish, yeah. are you sure you want to quit? Do it look like I want to quit? The answer is yes, Alex. Alright. Okay. Dude, let me see. Let me see your eyes. Alright, Gage. Are you sure you want to do this, man? Last call, bro. I know. Exactly, last call. Good night. Well, the project's failed. <laughs> right? I don't know, can we salvage this? What happened? So has your opinion changed about the homeless? Yeah. Yeah, well, the problem is just so much more complicated than I initially thought. And yeah, I just wrote them off as scammers before for the most part, and they're not scammers. Even people that are panhandling and stuff like that, like there's some issue they have with them. So, the experiment is complete. And what did I find? Life on the street is easy when you're healthy, clean and living off all the free services but the street catches up with you and when you're sick and on drugs it's a nightmare the only difference is that i was able to wake up from it i'm left wondering is there any hope <laughs>